So, I just thought I would share my results for this custom bedding job that I did on my SKS. And I got the idea from Rifle Chair, and he used JB Weld Marine Weld and some kind of releasing agent. I think he used wax, if I remember right. And I used car wax, and that worked perfectly. So if you want to see how I did this job, go check out that video. It's very informative, and I just can't recommend them enough. Maybe I'm just shilling for a fellow Canadian, but anyway. I'll share my results. So, this was all shot with the same ammunition before I get to the results. And 1974, factory 19, just... Chinese copper wash ball ammunition. So I was getting about four inches. Uh, it's tricky to do one handed by about seven and a half inches. Now, after this bedding job, these were the kind of groups that I was getting. So don't pay attention to where the groups actually fall on the target. Pay attention to the consistency because I was still trying to zero it. When you do a bedding job, most likely you're gonna have a point of impact shift and you're gonna need that little sight tool that will adjust the elevation and the windage, which I do. Anyway, let's check the group sizes here. So that is about an inch and a quarter by three quarters of an inch. About three quarters of an inch by an inch. And this is a five round group here. Or sorry. Yeah, five rounds. An inch by about an inch and three quarter. This doesn't have a lot of stringing, so it's about half an inch by two inches. Anyway, it, a drastic shrink in my group size, and this is all shot at 100 meters. And bear in mind that all of this was shot at 60 meters. So this group would be a lot worse if it was at 100 meters. But basically... Just don't, don't disregard the idea that stock fitment will really screw up your accuracy. Because before, you could press forward here, and you could hear this thing shifting forward and backwards inside the stock, and it just decimated my accuracy, as you can see. And check out that video on how to do it, because... Now, it's a lot more fun to shoot this SKS knowing that it's fairly accurate. Because before, just shooting stuff like this, I was just like, oh, you know, it's fun and it's cheap to shoot. But now, I would have no issues taking this hunting. Because, I mean, if you were at 200 meters or something like that, a group like that, that could get you an unethical kill which is no good. Anyway, I will link that video in the description of Rifle Chair. He's a great YouTuber that does great content and check it out and then I wish you the best of luck. He didn't have the best of luck in actually, you know, shrinking his group that drastically, but I did and hats off to him. He's a great YouTuber. Check him out. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Bye.